We all eat, yet our current food system does not work for farmers or consumers. We are creating an abundance of unhealthy food that is making consumers sick, destroying the environment, and keeping farmers in poverty. The industrial food system has tilted the playing field towards corporate bad actors. Right now, small-scale farmers and their communities are organizing to empower themselves. Around the world, people are joining them in solidarity to help tip the balance of power away from exploitative corporations and back to the people. This is the story of fair trade. Fair trade is a movement of small-scale farmers that are organizing to change the terms of trade, access the global marketplace, and improve the lives of their families and their communities. In the global marketplace, Big multinational corporations have a lot of power. And this power has a dramatic impact on the farmers who grow the crops we consume every day. Let's say you are a small scale farmer in Latin America, Africa, or Asia, and you grow coffee, cocoa, quinoa, or cotton, and you want to sell your crops to the international market. But you have to compete against large scale corporate farms that receive government subsidies, have easy access to credit, and can take advantage of lower costs due to their size. Since you don't have credit and you're selling a relatively small amount, you need to sell it fast for whatever cash you can get. So you're forced to go through a middleman that offers you less than your crop's cost to grow. With no choice, you sell at a loss. You and other farmers are forced off your land. You migrate to look for work in the industrial agricultural machine subject to further exploitation. Because of this, small-scale farmers started organizing to share information and services, negotiate prices, access credit, and advocate for better government policies to stop this cycle of exploitation. The big plantations they compete against have the support of governments, banks, and international corporations. The farmer organizations needed allies too, and they found them in the fair trade movement. Farmers and traders agreed on a set of governing principles to create long-term, direct relationships between traders and democratically run small farmer organizations based on dialogue, transparency, and respect. The traders agreed to pay sustainable prices and advance credit if requested to give farmers needed income and pledged to pay premiums for community projects. With the higher prices, farmers were able to commit to sustainable agricultural practices. The fair trade movement includes producers of many products, including coffee, chocolate, quinoa and other grains, shea butter and body care products, coconut oil, mate, and cotton. Fair trade has proven to be an extremely powerful force for change. Farmers are empowered both in the marketplace and in securing social services their governments should provide, but don't. Millions of dollars have been reinvested in developing communities for projects in education, healthcare, sanitation, and infrastructure. Small-scale farmers' efforts benefit all of us. They grow 70% of the world's food, often using traditional organic techniques that protect the environment. If we hope to truly battle climate change and increasing corporate dominance, we need to form strong alliances with small organic farmers globally. Small-scale farmers are standing together, but to truly succeed in building a just economy where everyone is treated with respect and can meet their basic human needs, they need us to stand with them. Here are a few things we can all do. Educate yourself on where your food comes from. Buy from truly fair brands that have fair trade principles at the core of their mission and apply them to all products and major supply chains. Engage policymakers and hold them accountable. Policy decisions regarding trade impact real people just like you. We can make the world fair. It starts when we stand together. Learn more and take action at fairworldproject.org.